Are you a beginner welder and you're not sure where to start? Here's three things that you can start doing today to be better. The first most important thing that beginner welders need to understand is they have to have clean metal to weld on. I see it countless times here at the Kentucky Welding Institute whenever someone first comes to us or whenever I go visit a high school that welds is that the students and individuals are welding on dirty metal. Problem with welding on dirty metal is you're not going to get a clean weld and the weld's not going to penetrate as good with dirty metal. So every time I weld something I make sure that it is down to the base metal. I take off all the paint, I take off all the mill scale, I take off any uh, paper or glue that comes from the factory when they ship pipe. So make sure before you weld on anything that the outside of the pipe or the outside of the plate is cleaned off as well as the bevels. See, we did some TIG welding here earlier and it's nice and clean because the outside of the pipe was clean as well as the bevel as well as the inside. So anything that you're gonna be welding on, you need to make sure that it is cleaned with a grinder rock or a wire wheel. That goes a long ways because whenever someone is practicing and trying to learn how to weld, you don't want any variables against you because there's already a lot of variables against you as a beginner welder. So the most important thing is making sure that you have a clean base metal to weld on that's gonna put down a proper weld for you to understand and learn how to weld. Now the second most important thing for beginner welders to understand is watching the puddle. What do I mean by that? A lot of the times whenever beginner welders strike up and start welding, they're focused on the end of the rod where all the sparks and all the noise and all the spatters coming from. But that's not where you need to be looking. Yes, keep focus on it every once in a while, but you need to be looking behind the rod at the puddle. It's gonna be in a U shape, okay? So whenever I strike up here and start welding this direction because this is a 7018, so we're gonna drag the rod with a 15 degree angle in the direction we're going, the puddle is gonna be behind the rod. So again, it's gonna be in a U shape and it's gonna be a big liquid formation, kind of like lava going down the mountain. So whenever you're welding, again, a lot of people like to look at this rod whenever they start welding and I made the mistake too. I was so focused on the noise and the light and the spatter that I wasn't even looking at my puddle. So whenever you're dragging this welding rod along, look right about here, not here, but back here to where the puddle is and that'll show you what you need to do. If you need to go if you want the puddle to be bigger and fatter, drag slower and it'll get bigger. If you want it to be a skinnier puddle or a tighter weld, go faster and it'll be more arrowhead and skinny. Lastly, one of the most important things for a beginner welder to understand is how to strike a welding rod. I started welding with stick rods and striking the welding rod was extremely hard for me in the beginning because I didn't understand one simple thing and that's you need to strike it like a match. Don't tap it, but strike it. Whenever you strike up and weld with the stick rod, you have to control it as you're welding. Unlike a MIG gun where you just pull it and drag, you're not in as much control as a stick rod like you would be a MIG gun. So the first thing that you need to know how to do is strike up that stick rod. Now, what a lot of people get wrong is they try tapping the stick rod in the beginning. Now, most seasoned welders, it doesn't matter how they start the stick rod, they can get it to light up, like myself and many other people who've been welding for a good amount of time. But in the beginning, the most important thing to understand about starting a stick rod is you wanna scratch it like a match. You don't, wanna, you don't wanna tap it, because as soon as you tap it, it's gonna stick. In the beginning, you're not gonna have a lot of understanding of why things stick and why it's hard for you to get the rod started. So what I always tell people is strike it like a match. So as you can see here, if I strike it, it's gonna start up versus if I tap it, see? That's what happens whenever you try to tap it whenever you're learning how to weld. So the best practice is to put in the stinger and strike it like a match. This rod is giving me a hard time. You will experience this learning how to weld, okay? So let's go ahead and try to strike up.
And there you have it. That's one of the most important things about learning how to weld is how to strike it. If you're not striking it properly, you're not even gonna get the chance to learn how to weld.